Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. What's going on, you guys? So it's currently 3 a.m. Um, I am in the basement of a dorm building because there are people in the store, uh, study lounge, and I don't want to make too much noise, but I did want to make sure I uploaded a video because I don't want to lie to you guys and say I'm uploading daily if I'm missing uh, more than like two days a week. So what I want to talk about today, um, let me just tell you guys what I did today. I was, I studied, I slept a lot. It's a Sunday, and I was on a podcast with um, someone known as Kevin Yee. He makes a lot of videos about pharmacy, things like that. I think someone's coming down. Never mind, false call. All right. So what I want to talk to you guys about was an opportunity, a career path that you could take in pharmacy school. So a class that I'm taking right now is infectious disease, where we learn about different uh, microorganisms, different diseases, um, how to treat them with antibiotics and medications. It's really hard because um, there's so many different things that could be going on, lots of different drugs, lots of different therapies, but it's a career path for a pharmacist that I really didn't know before. Um, you basically work in a hospital as a clinical pharmacist and then you specialize, I guess, into infectious disease. So you'll be working as an infectious disease pharmacist. And I guess your main, um, your main job when you work in that situation is to find out what's happening to a patient and then figuring out which antibiotics it's best to give. And it's not such a clear cut job just because when you give antibiotics, you can get resistance very easily, or you can get uh, things such as C. diff, which is like a deadly diarrhea. And so as a pharmacist, um, when you run tests and you figure out what's actually affecting the human, you gotta figure out what's the best antibiotic to give without being too broad or too uh, strong on the body, which can damage the microbioorganisms within the uh, organs. Um, and yeah, it's super interesting. And it, what was kind of cool, what I heard from one of my lecturers was that, so what happens is a doctor would sometimes call the pharmacist and some drugs are need prior authorization. So the doctors will call the pharmacist and say, hey, this is what's happening and this is the drug that I need. Um, and then the pharmacist gets the right to approve whether or not the drug is right for the patient. And if it's not right or they think something's better, they'll make the recommendation to the doctor and the doctor will go with the one that the pharmacist recommends. So this is just one of the important things that pharmacists have to do, um, or one of, one of the cool cool jobs that pharmacists can do, um, other than just retail or industry. And I want to bring that to attention. You guys can of course Google that yourself. Um, I'm not a specialist in infectious disease by no means, but I thought it was cool to tell you guys about because it's something that I wasn't too fond about. I've heard of it, but I wasn't too fond about it. And I thought it was really cool. This is, I think this job would be cool for people who are really interested in microbio, um, biology, really just figuring out cases and little problems and stuff like that and kind of putting the puzzle piece together and really thinking um, on your feet. Because um, when you give antibiotics, you want to try uh, giving the course of action super fast and you don't want to waste too much time. So that's it for that. So to continue on of me, walking in this dingy basement and trash room um i want to talk about the daily vlogs so on sundays i think i want to take it easy and i want to do like a talking video you guys can ask me questions and if i think any question is something that i should really get into then i'll talk about that but guys i'm not lying when i say i'm in a trash room like i'm actually in a trash room but yeah that's what i want to do um it hasn't been too difficult uploading, but I do see myself getting really tired in the mornings because I don't sleep. But this is what I do, and guys, the support has been great. You guys have been following me on Instagram. Um, it'd be awesome if you guys subscribe, comment. Comments really mean a lot because I love seeing them, seeing what you like and stuff like that. So that I could really base off you guys what I should put out and stuff. But other than that, I've been having tons of fun. Shout out to everyone who's been part of my vlogs, all my best friends who are always in it, all my supporters, everyone else. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.